welcome to My Moment, the best channel for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. Today I'm super excited to try this palette right here. It is from Urban Decay with a cherry on top. In general, I really enjoy Urban Decay palette, but in this colors, I don't know, is it going to fit for my skin colors and even yours? I mean, general the quality is really good, so let's get started. It's gonna be a combination of the two of a makeup look and also a products review. So let's get started. Okay, so let's open this. I love the package, it's really nice. And by the way, I already did my eyebrows to save some time because we really want to focus on this palette. So if you want to know in detail how I able to create this amazing eyebrows look, you can definitely check out this video right here. So let's take a look at this palette. And oh man, it's really a nice layout. It's absolutely beautiful and very high class, like the feeling of it. And they have put a lot of dedication into this, I bet. The frame of this mirror is really nice because it's large. You can really see yourself versus like some little strips you can barely see whenever you do makeup. I really enjoy the bigger image of this mirror right here. It's great for traveling. And the range of colors is not just like a darker red, but there is a more a, a lighter tone gradually to a darker tones. So you can really have a great different kind of look for morning, evening, and also night. For night, you definitely want to focus on more of this colors and especially if you're going for a photo shoot just trust me you need a little bit more colors you don't want this color because it's gonna wipe out your face and you can barely even see anything and for this one whenever you are going to a cocktail party or a party at night you want to focus on more of this colors and I love how its placement of this colors because it's so perfect to tell you hey this is the morning and then this is the evenings and then this is the night another thing that i definitely want to point out with this palette is that they have a brushes inside and this is not just a cheap brushes that you cannot do a beautiful look with this this is actually really nice whenever you go to traveling it's convenient and it's very compact so that's what i love and it seems more sturdy this palette versus this palette right here. I mean, both of them was costing $50 when it's retail. So hey, if you do a comparison of the package, I would say this is more quality, but man, the colors of this OG palette is absolutely amazing. So let's talk about the matte colors. I feel that it's really nice and soft, so I know the consistency is going to be great, as you can see here. And there's not a lot of fallout. Maybe I'm just using my fingers, but in general, I know that Urban Decay does not have ridiculous amount of fallout. And the payoff of the colors is really great, and it will definitely show into your eyes. Some of the colors that is going to be too light, you cannot barely see it. But for this, it's very compact. It's very pigmented and let's try another with metallic I also know metallic colors for here is going to be great but I definitely want to see if it's true to colors okay so this is a pinkish uh, gold and is very nice and reflective I think I need to add a little bit more colors in order for it to show but the consistency of it is so great even in the beginning of the stage where they come out with the OG palette is definitely amazing so I have set a, a higher stand bar since this come out like I don't know like when I was in high school so this has to be like really nice and legit let's go ahead and try this color right here so this is the colors that uh, closely match with my dress but not really and Let's blend this baby in. Yeah, okay. So the color is very blendable and also buildable, which is great whenever you over here trying to do a dramatic makeup. You want it to blend in versus going to showing too harsh of a line, but it's really nice, it's buildable, and let's have a darker color so this is not a like black colors it's more tend to be in the darker brown 
and is very nice and consistent. I really enjoy it. So, I would say this palette is really nice and legit. So just testing a couple of colors, I definitely want to do one more. And this color is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I absolutely love this color right here. I really enjoy this colors. So I really want to test out to see if it's going to give me an amazing look with this palette right now because I enjoy every colors that I should try in my arms but in the combinations of how it works into my eyes and on my skin it will tell a different story so before we are testing out the eyeshadows I'm going to apply this Urban Decay Eye Primer Potions this is so critical and important if you are doing your clients makeup this is going to be either break it or make it because whenever you're using this, this is going to prevent the colors from shifting and also creasing throughout the day. And it's going to keep the amazing colors last very long and it's going to stay absolutely amazing throughout the day. And especially if your clients have a photo shoot, you want their makeup last long as possible. And so this is one of my secret in order to have an amazing I look that would definitely stay all day and even if I sweat it still be okay I'm going to use my finger to blend all over my lid and making sure that it's nice and sticky I'm just going to use this smaller brushes and tap out the axis and I'm going to start in the outer corners And I'm just going to shape it out like this. So a darker colors, you can always start from the outer corners because we want a lighter colors in this inner corners. So having a darker colors in the outer corner, it will give you illusions of a bigger eyes. So I'm using a smaller brushes to place where I want the color to be. And I'm going to switch line using a bigger brush and blend it in. So this brush is very compact and dense so which means that it's not going to be easy to fluff out the colors and a lot of the colors tend to stay in one area and it was really hard for me to blend out everywhere. It's just because of how the brush is designed so you have to really work at it and just blend it out as best as you could. So now I'm going to pick up a lighter shade this color being tap out the excess before I'm going to apply on my eye and I'm just going to apply on top of that a little bit and I'm just going to try to blend it out creating an ombre effect if there's a time that you say oh snap I mess it up I add too much colors don't worry about it get it lighter colors and then blend on top of it especially like an outline you know how it's like give it a little glow give it a little love and the colors will be amazing and beautiful so if the brush does not give you a very good payout don't worry about it we can always work to add it and I'm just going to blend out as best as I could I know that this brush is, is really hard to blend but we gotta make it work Okay, and I'm going to use the other side, just blending it out. I mean, I feel that the color is not really moving, but at least we give it a try rather than, you know. Another thing that I noticed here that this brush is too fluffy to where it's not even have a great grip so I can move the colors around. I'm going to divide my lid in four different sections. So I'm going to start with the colors Young Love in the outer corners. Then I'm going to add another section in this color right here. It is so beautiful and reflective. And I'm going to place it right here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an ombre or you can call it a rainbow effect of a lighter colors and gradually toward the back of a darker colors. This is going to turn out amazing whenever you're taking pictures all up close. 
So with the metallic colors that reflected of light is going to be so beautiful and amazing in pictures. So next and lastly, I'm going to pick this color Bang Bang. It's a lighter shade. And I'm going to add this right on top. And I'm just basically gently brush the colors in together. Don't forget to add some colors on the bottom of the lid and I divide my bottom lid into two. The lighter colors is in the corner and I went back to devilish to add on the outer corner. And under my eyebrows bone, I'm going to use the hot spot. This have a lot of fallout when I use this brush, so just be careful. Tap out the access before placing on your eyes. And I like to use a matte colors under my eyebrows to define my eyebrows look to finish off this look i'm going to add this false eyelashes i love false eyelashes because it does pull the look together no matter how crazy your makeup is whenever you add false eyelashes it's just like damn girl you look glam and one tip i want to share with you how to make your thick eyelashes look real as possible is that in the process of it drying what I like to do is actually press it against my false eyelashes and my real eyelashes to merge it together if someone's standing next to me they don't even know that I was wearing fake eyelashes a lot of people ask me hey is that your real eyelashes or what kind of scare that you use that give you such a volumized and long eyelashes is that your mother gave you no this is how I do it. This is the technique. Merge it in together and press it in as closely as possible. Another tip I want to share with you whenever you're applying false eyelashes, either on yourself or your clients, is that in the inner corners, you don't want the strips this to poke right in the inner corners because it's going to cause irritations and discomfort the whole freaking day. It hurt, it will make your eyes tears, and your fake eyelash will definitely fall off. And so whenever you're doing for yourself or your clients, let them blink comfortable of time. If they say that it's comfortable, then let it be. But if they say it hurt, for some weird way in the inner corners or the outer corners, girl, you have to take it out and cut it. Reduce the size using the scissors. So just cut the length a little bit and placing the way that is going to help them not feel in discomfort, as simple as that. And what I like to do to look the fullest of this eyelashes is adding on mascara. Another way to make this fake eyelashes to look volumized and beautiful but also natural, you're just going to target the roots. Don't over here trying to, you know, push it all the way through. No, we're not going to do that because we want to look natural although it's fake but we're going to make it natural as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go closely toward the root and push it back and forth push it back and forth like this. As simple as that. Another tip if you having trouble placing your fake eyelashes closely to your real eyelashes and there's a gap between and you were like, oh snap, I need to cover it. Don't worry. Use a liquid eyeliner and what you're going to do is applying under it. Yeah, like this. This will do the trick and close the gap. As simple as that. So you're not going to add it on the top, you're actually going to add on the bottom to close the gap. Bam! That is how it's done. And also, don't forget to add some mascara on the bottom lid and use this tool right here to your advantages so there will be no smearing and it's not going to spread everywhere. And here is the completed look with this palette. So for this Urban Decay eyeshadows palette, I truly love it and I enjoy it every single time whenever I apply it on my eyes. Other than the brushes, I'm not a fan of the brushes this time because they make it so compact and dense for the small one, which is really hard for me to actually blend it in. And then too much of color is compact in one area and it does not look nice. And I try to use the other end, which is more fluffy and it's too fluffy. Now the colors don't even have a 
chance to move around because it cannot have a great grip. But other than that, the colors is amazing. And another thing that I want to point out that there is not a lot of fallout whenever I try to blend in on my top lid. If it was not good eyeshadows and if it's not pigment enough, first of all, the color does not show. Second of all, there will be a lot of fallout under your eyes. And if you are in a hurry, so I'm telling you that you're doing your foundations, then your eye makeup. But in this process, you usually see me doing my eyes, then later I will do my face. Because just in case, if there's a lot of fallout, then I could have a chance to cover up with my foundations. And that's the same apply whenever I do my client's makeup, I would tend to do their eyes first and then I would do their foundations later. Just in case if I mess it up horrible, I don't have to take all the makeup off around the eye area. I just need to take off where I want it to be and if there's not a lot of fallout, it's much easier to clean versus if I was putting foundations and all this like primers, then later if I hate the eye makeup, I have to take out everything. It's just the worst. But, you know, if you have a great palette in general, if there's not a lot of fallout, then you can go straight in with the eyeshadows after you have applied foundations. Um, there was like one time that I did makeup for my clients and she had a time crunch and she was like, just do something, my just throw something in me because I only have like 15 minutes. So I did her makeup in 15 minutes full face and it was kind of crazy and I was like oh my gosh what, what should I do what should I start and I was like you know what let's add some foundations on your face because she's gonna have a photo shoot so I was like okay the face is so important and then I can throw something and do in for the eyes and she's like okay I don't have enough time on and so I use my fingers I know usually you want to use brushes but we did not even have a lot of time so I use my own technique which whenever I don't have a lot of time I will use this finger I mean like it works so well whenever you applying like eyeshadows the reason why I say that invest in yourself a really good eyeshadow palette because there will be no hassle you will be trying to take it off and the pay of the colors is show to the colors so you don't have to second guess yourself with this color turn out differently so I agree that this makeup would not be best for everyday use or even certain season because if someone see me this outside in a summer, man, it's already hot and I look like I'm on fire and it's not going to be good. So I will wear this mainly in the, you know, fall and winter because it's going to give the warm vibe and it's amazing in pictures. It's so pretty. This color in general is so pretty in picture. Trust me in that. And so I love a darker colors in the winter time versus in the summer, I would do something more bright, more easy and more fun. This one, I would say that if I go to a wedding, you know, at nighttime, it's going to be so beautiful. But in the summer, forget about it. I'm not gonna over here torching another person, just look in my eyes like, she is on fire, you know? So right now, I am in love with this blushes here. It's absolutely amazing colors and they give me a really nice and rosy, not to where it's too red, but it's very easy, you know? Instead of too dark of a color, they give me light and natural glow. Lastly, adding some setting spray so you can look amazing throughout the day. I don't usually pair this red lipstick with this kind of eye makeup, but I definitely want to be different and fun today. And if you are going for a photo shoot, slap on some red lipstick because it's going to make you look way more sexier and attractive. There's another two video waiting for you to click on because it makes especially for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications, and as always, love yourself, stay motivated, peace out.